Welcome to part 2 on the Canon F1. I recently finished the roll of Kodak Ektar 100 and in this video I want to show you the results that I was able to achieve. And even though I put through only one roll of film, I thought I would also give you a short impression on my experience using this camera. When you pick up a Canon F1, you can feel the weight and the quality. It weighs in at more than one kilo in combination with the standard 50mm 1.8 SC lens. And I thought my Pentax KX was a large camera. Well, if I put these side by side, you can see that the Canon is still a little bit larger than my Pentax KX. And that's something you need to get used to. I don't shy away from large cameras or heavy cameras. But when you're using an SLR that has this weight and you want to carefully compose and focus on your subject, then you need to get used to this weight of more than one kilo. When you hold onto the camera, your fingers come across this lever on the front, which is meant to stop down your aperture if you're using FL lenses and also used as the self timer. And it is quite a large lever, so that is in an annoying position. The film advance lever is very smooth and then you can already feel the quality of this camera. What was very nice to experience is when rewinding your film, it is extremely smoothly geared. There's hardly any resistance that you can feel when you rewind your film. So this camera oozes quality, so to say. I thought that the viewfinder, the standard viewfinder that came with this camera was still not very bright. So I was glad that the focusing screen did not only have the micro prism, but also the split screen because it was really necessary to pinpoint focus. But all in all, a beautiful camera to use. I only had the 50 millimeter 1.8 SC lens to go with the camera body. And if you know me from my past videos, I primarily use a wide angle, a 28 or a 35 millimeter. So using only a 50 millimeter almost felt like using a tele lens. But I got used to using this lens and actually I enjoyed using a 50 millimeter lens again. I did lose out on a few compositions because I just didn't have the wide angle available but all in all, it worked out just fine. The lens is very sharp, has an excellent contrast, and I had no issues with regards to flare, even though it was very sunny outdoors when I was taking these photos. I had no lens shade. So all in all, again, I'm very satisfied with this camera, and I'm quite reluctant to return it to Hans and Miriam from the Photo Fuckhuis in Haarlem. Maybe I'll negotiate with them because I really want to keep this camera. Looking at the Kodak Ektar 100, wow, I'm really impressed with this film. Extremely sharp, very nice, realistic and vibrant colors and a very nice contrast. I don't understand why Ektar 100 is not used more often. If you've shot slide films in the past, you can compare this Ektar 100 to the results of the slide films from the past. I just absolutely love this film. It's only a shame that it is very expensive. For a roll of this film in the Netherlands, I pay 10 euros and 95 cents. Right, now for the results. I had Hans from the Foto Fuckhuis develop this roll of film and I scanned them in on my Epson flatbed scanner I think, you know, it really fits being a photography minimalist to do this on my own with my Epson Perfection. And I was actually very surprised and very satisfied with the results that I was able to achieve. I chose 15 images out of the 36, which I want to show you now, which I think best reflect the potential of this camera lens and film combination. Well, I hope you enjoyed the images and I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, don't hesitate, put them forward, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching, greatly appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next video.